I say, Thompson. Oh, Walker, how do you do? How do you do? Thompson, old man, I wanted a quiet word with you. Oh, well, of course, nothing the matter. No, no, no. And, and uh, look here, you must forgive me for sticking my nose into your business, but the fact is, some of the fellows were saying you're thinking of hiring on Ferguson for your firm. Why, well, yes, uh, I am. Should I not? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't say that, and doubtless you know all about it anyway. But I just thought it was my duty to give you a word to the wise. Uh, Ferguson is a capital fellow, but, shall we say, he gets very little change at the haberdashers. <laughs> I'm sorry, how do you mean? Well, I'm just saying, in his farmyard, all the geese are swans. <laughs> he has a farm? No, 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 not as far as I know. I'm speaking elusively, you understand. I don't understand. <laughs> well, I'm simply saying his penny whistle is not worth fourpence. <laughs> well, no, naturally not. <laughs> no, but it's not worth fourpence. Fourpence? Fourpence? Yes, fourpence. It's not worth fourpence. No, I'm sorry. Well, well, look, I'm trying to say there's no peg in his parlour for a petticoat. Oh, I see. He's a homosexual. What? No. Uh, good Lord, no. I mean, is he? Not as far as I know. Well, no, no, then, no, I, I wasn't for a moment suggesting there was no bell on his bicycle. I... <laughs> I simply meant he parts his hair in the middle. Oh, a bisexual. What? I don't even know what that is. No, I, I, I'm saying he's the sort of chap who eats his porridge with two spoons. No, sorry. There are more shells in his garden than there ever were snails. And again, there are ivory dice in his waistcoat pocket. He's a gambler. No, not literal dice, for heaven's sake. If you must make me come out and say it, he's the sort of chap who, if your chimney was on fire, would lend you an umbrella. <laughs> So, so stupid. No! <laughs> Unhelp. No! <clears throat> He's got a brass button on the back of his hat. His cherry tree only bears plums. <laughs> he wouldn't thank you for a punch in the side of the head. Well, no more would I. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh. Well, well, then, by all means, employ him. Birds of a feather must flock together, eh? No, I, I just mean I wouldn't thank you for a punch in the side of the head. Yes, yes, I heard you. I, don't worry, old man, I'm not prejudiced. Live and let live, that's my motto. But <laughs> Then, of course, I would say that. After all, just between ourselves, I myself keep a toasting fork in the billiard parlour. <laughs> Get out of my sight, you filthy hound! Uh, 